Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today we will talk about the steps of maternal resuscitation, which is a very important topic not only for obstetricians and gynecologists but for all the doctors. The first important step in maternal resuscitation is call for help and approach patient safely. Means first you have to make sure that you are in safe environment and also the patient is safe and then you call all the medical personals available around you for help. Next step is your approach toward the patient and you check the responsiveness by talking and touching the patient. A very important step in maternal resuscitation is to relieve pressure on inferior vena cava and for that apply manual uterine displacement or tilt toward the left by using wedge. Now if you find that the patient is responsive, place on her side and continue assessment. But if the patient is unresponsive, check that the help is on the way. Open airway plus check breathing. The position should be head, head tilt and chin lift position. So in this position, assess for 10 seconds. Look, listen and feel for breathing. If the patient is breathing, place on her side and continue assessment. If the patient is not breathing, commence cardiopulmonary resuscitation, that is CPR. And in maternal CPR, 30 cardiac compressions are given at the rate of 100 to 120 per minute and then two ventilations are given. Then repeat at the ratio of 30 to 2 ratio and continue this until help arrives and advanced life support can be administered. In maternal resuscitation, it's very important to make arrangements for emergency cesarean section aiming to deliver within 5 minutes if no response to CPR. It is very important to know that this perimortem cesarean section is done for the benefit of mother, not for the baby. It's because the perimortem cesarean section decreases uterine compression on inferior vena cava, thus increases the venous return resulting in improved maternal cardiac filling pressure. Now this is the whole algorithm of maternal resuscitation. The first step is call for help and approach patients safely. Check responsiveness by talking and touching and apply manual displacement or tilt her toward her left side by using the wedge. If patient is responsive, place on her side and continue assessment. If patient is unresponsive, check help is on the way. Open airway plus check breathing. Head tilt and chin lift. Assess for 10 seconds. Look, listen and feel for breathing. If breathing is present, place on her side and continue assessment. If no breathing, then commence CPR cycle at the rate of 30 compression and 2 ventilations. Compressions are given at the rate of 100 to 120 per minute. Continue this until help arrives and ALS can be administered. Make arrangements for emergency cesarean section aiming to deliver within 5 minutes if no response to CPR. Now we will discuss cardiac arrest in pregnancy in hospital ACLS algorithm. So continue BLS or ACLS high quality CPR. Use defibrillations when indicated. Use other ACLS interventions like epinephrine. Assemble maternal cardiac arrest team. Consider etiology of the cardiac arrest and this include 4H and 4Ts. Perform maternal interventions. Perform airway management. Administer 100% oxygen. Avoid excessive ventilation. Place IV above diaphragm. If receiving IV magnesium, stop and give calcium chloride or calcium gluconate. Continue BLS and ACLS. High quality CPR defibrillation when indicated other ACLS interventions like epinephrine. Perform obstetric interventions. Provide continuous lateral uterine displacement. Detach fetal monitors. Prepare for perimortem cesarean delivery. Perform perimortem cesarean delivery if no return of spontaneous circulation in 5 minutes. In that case, consider immediate C-section. And neonatal team to receive neonate. Now, this is the whole ACLS algorithm in pregnancy resuscitation. So, it shows continue BLS ACLS, high quality CPR, defibrillation when indicated, other ACLS interventions like epinephrine. Assemble maternal cardiac arrest team. Consider etiology of the cardiac arrest. Perform maternal intervention, perform airway management, 
administer 100% oxygen, avoid excessive ventilation, place IV above diaphragm if receiving IV magnesium, stop and give calcium chloride or calcium gluconate, continue BCLS, ACLS, high quality CPR, deep relation when indicated other ACLS interventions like epinephrine. Perform obstetric intervention, provide continuous lateral uterine displacement, detach fetal monitors, prepare for perimortem cesarean delivery, perform perimortem cesarean delivery if no return of spontaneous circulation in 5 minutes and neonatal team to receive the neonate. So thank you so much. That was all about maternal resuscitation. Subscribe on Obstetrics and Gynae. Allah Hafiz.